The host province of the single biggest hydropower project in the country says it has no record of any tangible infrastructure developments in the province, district or the affected areas. The people of Kainantu and Ovura Waninara districts in Eastern Highlands province say their resource powers up the nation but they are still at darkness. They made this known to the government delegation during the launch of the Ramatu hydropower project in Kainantu mid this week. Rose Amos reports. Aaron Novelli, located in Kainantu district of Eastern Highlands, plays host to the Ramu 1 and now Ramu 2 hydropower project, supplying electricity to Morobe province and the entire Highlands region. However, Governor Julie Soso has revealed in front of thousands of people, cabinet ministers including State Enterprise and Investment Minister, Board and Management of Kumul Holdings and PNG Power, that it's 40 years on and still there is nothing tangible on the ground. Lack of community participation after 40 years of power generation in the Aruna Valley there are no power distribution service lines into the villages around the town and within the radius of the project. More still, they use kerosene now, and now the Chinese solar lamps only for their light. The power distribution infrastructure is about, is absent about 40 years now. People who gave their land for power have not fully enjoyed the use of electricity. The PNG Power Limited has yet to partner with the districts and the province to set up a social infrastructure. Impact District, there is no tangible benefits on record of this project to the host districts, Kainan and Ogura Wanenara. Meanwhile, Minister Responsible says government in the past lack proper policies to deal with landowners' issues of resource project areas. But now, with new policies, Minister Ben Micah has assured the people of Eastern Highlands government have plans to incorporate landowners to fully participate in the Ramutu project. Rosemos, NBC National News, Port Mosby.